Come on in, come on in, y'all. Corn casserole, corn pudding, whatever you call it, we making it. Holidays are coming up. Put this on your menu. I'll show you just how easy and delicious this is to make. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Oh, leave your girl a comment. Subscribe for the deliciousness. Let's get into it. Take off. Go ahead and go with the ingredients. I have one can of cream corn, one can of corn that I drained, some bacon, stick of butter, one egg, sour cream, onions, garlic, a can of green chili, Jiffy corn muffin mix. I have some green onions and some cheddar cheese. Now to get started, we're gonna go ahead and cook our bacon. Gonna get this bacon nice and brown and cook through. And we're also gonna saute the onions and garlic once the bacon is done. Now, once your bacon is nice and crispy, you want to go ahead and remove it. Okay, so what I did was I removed some of the bacon oil. I left about a tablespoon. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my onions. Going to add a touch of salt. That's going to help sweat out these onions and some black pepper. You want to get us a mix. Make sure you're scraping the bottom of your pan. To remove those brown bits and we're going to saute our onions for about seven minutes now after about seven minutes you want to add in your garlic y'all already know i use like six cloves but you can use two to three you want to just mix this in for about 30 seconds or so until it becomes nice and fragrant Now, after you let your garlic cook in, you want to go ahead and remove everything from your skillet. We have our casserole dish butter. Oven is preheating at 350 degrees. Now we can get started on putting it all together. I'm gonna go in with a four ounce can of diced green chilies. I'm gonna add in the onions and garlic mixture. One egg. Eight ounces of sour cream. Now y'all remember a full list of the ingredients will be down in the description box below. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. You wanna go ahead and add in your box of Jiffy. That's a stick of melted butter. Gonna go ahead and get us a mix. Gonna go in with some cheese. Of the bacon we cooked earlier, I'm gonna save some to garnish the top. So, going in with some green onion, you want to go ahead and just put this mix this in. Now that you have that all mixed up, you want to go ahead and place this in your casserole dish. Just gonna smooth it over, make it nice and even. Gonna add the remainder of my bacon. Told y'all, load it, load it up. Then you just want to top it with whatever cheese you like. I'm using a sharp cheddar. Now you just want to place this in your preheated oven for about 45, 55 minutes, just until the middle has set. And when we come back, I'll show you what it's looking like. Here it is, fresh out the oven, y'all. Look at that. Corn casserole. Now you can make this a day ahead and bake it off in the oven the next day. This is great for the weeknight. Holidays are coming up. Put this on the menu. I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Make sure your notification bells are set to all. Subscribe for the deliciousness. Happy Sunday, and y'all know the vibe. Be blessed.